they just got the porch all ready. I got his flowers all planted, his hanging baskets all planted. He took much pride in this house, you know? And he just sat down and he thought, I'm getting a cold beer. And he just sat down when his neighbor came down the street and said, uh, Les, I think we better get out of here. See, a breeze came right through here all the time. We had a nice, cool breeze, and I guess that's the way the, the wind blew and the fire hopped over my shed and into the house, I guess. And they more or less just pushed him out. He had no time to think. But you know what? For living here 23 years, they never had anything like this, you know? They never had anything from like a natural disaster or anything. He had a good life here. They had a good life here. Everything I own is in there. Yeah, yeah, I've managed to find some things. I understand your children. Uh, well, they're not worth much. Old, some pictures and but really nothing like discharges. Everything is in there. All my insurance work and everything's in there. My whole. Okay. Well, if thing the, I think I, I feel the worst about is my wife's mm -hmm. purse. That's, that's my mom. And see all the flowers my dad would have around the, on the, uh, what do you call it, the railing? Mm -hmm. And the hanging baskets and the azaleas and everything else? I don't know. It's, it's just awful. Buy my house out of all of them. But... I guess God has a purpose for everything. But we have, we have so many good memories of this house. The, the, the picnics, eating crabs in the backyard, the fun times, you know, the laughter. The, this was a happy house and, and we loved coming here. And that's what we're treasuring now. Nobody can take that. Nobody can take that from us. So. I'm just glad my mother's not here to see this, you know, because it would break her heart. But we'll be all right. I feel so bad for my dad. You know, he's still mourning her terribly.